Hey guys, Smith here with Minute Maintenance, coming at you from a winter wonderland. If you couldn't tell by the snow in the background or my breath in the air that it's cold outside, you can definitely tell by the long sleeve shirt I got on right now. Let's go over one thing that I forgot to mention when it comes to winter maintenance on vehicles that you want to make sure you get taken care of sooner rather than later. Let's go ahead and uh, get on this vehicle and let's get going. All right, guys, I'm coming at you today from my winter wonderland. As I mentioned, I got snow everywhere. I got the sun in the sky, but that doesn't mean anything because right now it is negative eight degrees outside, guys, and vehicles do not like that temperature. One part of the vehicle in particular that doesn't like that temperature is your door. Come over here and take a look at this. We got frost on the door still. It's negative eight degrees, frost on the mirror. What happens is moisture can get in between the door and the frame here, get past that barrier that gasket that's in there and actually sit so when you come in the morning to open your door it's freezing out you're running fast i want to get inside i want to get my car warmed up i want to get started and you go to grab your door handle it's stuck now why is that because it's frozen guys moisture got in between the door handle moisture got in between the door jam and it froze overnight so a quick way to get in real fast because I've seen people struggling. I saw a guy the other day rip his plastic door handle off. That's happened to me a long time ago. A lot of door handles nowadays are plastic. They can't keep up with these temperatures. When they're frozen, people start yanking, stuff breaks. So one way to prevent that from happening, one, if your door is stuck, just go ahead and give it a few love taps and the handle. There we go, breaker free. And then after that, what we're gonna wanna do is find ourselves a can of water resistant silicone lubricant now, this is made by wd-40 there's lots of different silicones out there um lots of different water resistant ones i like to use this one because it is rated for temperatures up to negative 100 degrees fahrenheit and i'm gonna show you how we're gonna use this to make sure your door doesn't get stuck in the winter time anymore all right guys like i said this is just a seal here now on this particular vehicle is 2013 ford f-150 lariat tuscany you can see the seal Got all that space up there for moisture to get itself into. And this is just pressed on. This isn't glued on or anything. This is just pressed on. And I've had it uh, actually a couple weeks ago where moisture got in between here just from the atmosphere. It froze to the top of the door here. And then when I went to get the door open, it actually pulled the seal off. And I had to spend time out in the cold pressing everything back on. But to make sure that doesn't happen, what you want to do is get yourself some of that silicone spray and a microfiber cloth. Then go ahead, get that cloth going. And you take that silicone and then you wipe it all down. Spread that on there nice on every part of the seal. So we got this inner seal and we got this outer seal. Let's go ahead and get that nice coating everywhere on there. And you can see the seal goes all the way down the sides too. So you want to go ahead and take care of all that. Get that nice and coated and that will stop that moisture barrier from forming on your door jam. All right, guys, another area you're gonna wanna get some of the silicone on is right here where the actual door lock comes in. You wanna get a coating on that, because that's metal. And then where the door lock actually connects right here, that's the metal as well. And you can actually see I got frost on that right now. Go ahead and take your spray. Give it a quick little spritz. Quick little spritz. And once your door handle's open, just go ahead and get yourself a little spritz right inside there as well too. All right, guys, and another area that you want to get yourselves lubricated as well is if the window happens to be stuck on you, like you're going through the drive-thru to get yourself a quick sandwich on the way home, same things to do with the door. So go ahead and tap around the edges of the window to break it free. And then once you get the chance, lower that window down. And right in there, guys, right in that seal, get yourself your spray. Let like gravity do the work. For the most part, it'll carry it down. Let's get that right on both sides. Over time, from the window going up and down, it's gonna cause wear, which will cause that tight seal to have, you know, little micro areas in there for the moisture to get into, and the same thing's gonna happen. It's gonna cause it to freeze and stick. Once you go ahead and get the, that taken care of, that should resolve that issue for you. No more stuck, frozen window while you're sitting in the drive-through. 
All right, guys, I know that's a short video for you guys today, but like I said, I saw a guy yanking on his door the other day and rip his plastic handle off. I don't know if that happened to you guys here in the wintertime. So I don't know about you, but I'm going to go inside and have some hot cocoa and try to get some feeling back in my toes. And I hope this video, as always, helps make things a little easier for you guys to get a minute out of your day to do some maintenance. Catch you next time. Stay warm.